everyone welcome back to Adonia Academy in this video I'm going to show you how I made this cute 14 inch tall 3d dinosaur cake as you will see this is fully edible made out of yummy chocolate cake ganache and rice crispy treats for this I'm using a large MDF board it is a 10 mm thick MDF board you can also use ply I'm using such a large board because I have an additional two tier cake coming in front of the dinosaur. If you're just making the dinosaur, you can use a 10 inch round or square board. I'm using threaded rods to, for the base structure. Two eight inch rods go into the big base and a four inch round um, MDF board stands to support the cake and a 12 inch threaded rod goes up from it towards the center i've uh, secured it with nuts uh, with bolts um, and uh, tightened it to make sure that it's fully sturdy and i'm now wrapping the threaded rods with aluminium foil to make it 100 percent food safe i'm using dark chocolate ganache two and a half is to one proportion two and a half parts of chocolate to one part of cream and I'm starting to assemble my cake. I'm using six inch round cakes, oil based cakes. Um, the recipe will be added in the description box if you otherwise you can check the link on top. I'm sandwiching the cakes with a good amount of dark chocolate ganache like so. So I'm using four cakes here for the body. Uh, each cake should be about an inch and a quarter high and uh, so um, I'm using the scale to measure it and uh, so once all four cakes are sandwiched put it in the fridge to chill for a bit or you can leave it in a cool room if you don't have such a large space I'm using a three inch cookie cutter to make a mark in the center and using a serrated knife carving it gently uh, to give the desired shape if you notice I'm not carving the two cakes in the center because I want a little bulge for the stomach You know so that it uh, it looks like a cute round plump dinosaur So I'm just carving the top cake and the bottom cake to give a curved like a um, I don't know how to explain it like a cylindrical uh, kind of a, a shape uh, like this Continue carving little by little uh, till you get the desired uh, shape. Uh, don't cut off too much at one time. Once you're happy with the shape, uh, melt some dark chocolate ganache and give a crumb coat so that you seal in all the crumbs. Uh, chill it for about half an hour in the fridge before you apply a thick coat of ganache uh, for your final coat. Use a small spatula and make it as smooth as possible. Again, put it in the fridge to set. I'm making a template for the face um, out of paper and I've cut out the same thing on a uh, cake board. If you want a link to the template, check the description box below. At the back side of the template, I am just uh, using some dark chocolate ganache to glue on Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, the recipe for this Rice Krispie Treats uh, check out the link above for the video um, I'm just using marshmallows puffed rice and um, dark chocolate ganache uh, to make it more sturdy because this is going to go upside down so the dark chocolate ganache makes it more sturdy and helps it set faster um, now I'm building up the legs little by little slowly the same mixture of rice krispies uh, marshmallows and dark chocolate ganache if you don't want to use marshmallows you can use uh, cake crumbs okay that gives the same effect cake crumbs rice krispies and uh, dark chocolate ganache same two is to one proportion slowly build up your uh, thighs and legs of the dinosaur like so till you get the desired shape let it set and again start applying a good thick coat of your ganache smoothen it as much as possible and chill it in a cool room or in the refrigerator until completely set 
now i'll continue the rest uh, in another video because there's lots more to do thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and hit the bell button to watch more such cake decorating videos and for the part two of this dinosaur video see you next time soon bye bye